Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our health unit for the month of May, and we all want to be healthy, both mentally and physically. It seems most of the time we're stressing our physical health, but our mental health is important too. And、mm-hmm. if we are mentally healthy, then we have a better chance of being physically healthy too. I think mental health is every bit as important as physical health. You can actually make yourself sick if you're, you know, really upset or stressed out. It can lead to physical、sure. problems that you have. I know a lot of cancer is brought on by stress. So, guys, you need to de-stress. We're going to talk about how exploring yourself and being artistic using art is a way to de-stress. Learn more about yourself and just, you know, enjoy the time that you have. I, a lot of people have different ways of relaxing. Some people really like cooking. As far as art goes, I'm not a good artist at all. I'm terrible. Tom, do you find yourself relaxing with all your drawing? He's a cartoonist. Do you? Well,、uh, well, not really, but I doodle on the scripts here when we're recording just、mm-hmm. for fun. And yeah, it's a release. You know, it's kind of fun. And、uh, you know, I don't buy the fact that people have no artistic talent.、Oh, I'm If terrible. If you can draw a circle and two dots and a line, and you've made a happy face, then you can draw. Maybe you can't draw as well as some people. My but circle still... doesn't even look good. Uh, well, still, it's the process that counts.、Mm. As we say, the journey is half the fun getting there, or something like、mm-hmm. that. So,、uh, yeah, the process of creating art is probably what we're talking about here. And don't、uh, worry too much about the results. And、uh, this can all be、uh, beneficial toward your mental health, and you can get a better idea of yourself through art. So that's what we're doing today: exploring the self through art in various ways. So let's read the entire contents of our lesson right now. And then let's talk about it. What do a messy lump of clay, coloring books, and pencils, and scraps of colored paper have in common? At first glance, you might be tempted to say nothing, but in fact, each is a tool to express your feelings and thoughts in a way that can relieve stress and promote mental health. Any kind of artistic activity can help people relax, but art therapy is a specific therapeutic practice that uses visual art to help you improve your mental well-being. An art therapist directs you through the process of creating art and analyzes the resulting work. In this way, you are deeply involved in the act of learning about yourself. Don't worry if you think you're not artistic, though. An art therapist is not there to instruct you in advanced pottery techniques or criticize your painting style. Their intention is to facilitate your understanding of your own feelings and actions via the art you make. Art therapy taps into the human drive to create and communicate. Because art doesn't require language, it's also accessible to people with physical or cognitive limitations. Through art therapy, anyone can improve their capacity for self-expression, whatever their scope of ability. A good art therapist will help with your self-discovery too, and that is a path to understanding and navigating future obstacles on your own. All art is beneficial if it makes you think, feel, wonder, or otherwise react strongly. Likewise, exploring your thought patterns is helpful, no matter whether you're in good or bad mental health. There are no limitations when it comes to either art or therapy, and both combined together can offer us all something special. Okay, guys. Like we said when we first introduced this particular lesson, we were talking about how. Using art can really help your mental health. I was thinking as you were reading, Tom, that I may not draw or paint, but another form of art for me would be sewing. And when I was younger, I would actually do a lot of needlework, needlepoint, cruel embroidery. I love that stuff. But yeah, I have no talent with drawing. Or what's the other one? Drawing, painting, all of those are horrible.、Um, and I don't think I'd be very good at、uh, molding clay either. But 
There are so many ways you can express yourself through art. Don't give up until you find one that you enjoy. So here's the scenario: What do a messy lump of clay? Lump here is just a big mass, just some sort of substance. A lump of clay, a lump of dirt. Well, unfortunately, we do use it for women detecting breast cancer. Oh yeah! I detected a lump. You need to have、uh, another doctor's appointment.、Uh, that's probably something you don't want to hear—a lump there. Yeah, and that lump is actually a noun. This here is a noun, but it's being used as a measure word. Liangzi is so a lump of clay. Clay is a non-count noun, so don't say clays. I have a bunch of clays I'm、uh, working with.、Ooh. Little kids when they're young, especially in Kindergarten, they'll often have play dough. It's a brand name for a clay that they can use, and it comes in bright colors. So that's clay or play dough. If you hear play dough, that's the brand. So we've got some、uh, objects here. So what do a messy lump of clay, coloring books, and pencils, and scraps or small pieces of colored paper have in common? Ooh, this is a riddle. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like someone has an art project at school. That's what I'm gonna guess. So, what is it? Yeah. How are these things similar? How are they kind of the same? How are they related?、Yeah. Exactly. So, at first glance, when you first think about this, or when you first look at it,、uh-huh. you might be tempted to say nothing. Yeah, clay, coloring books, scraps of colored paper—they don't seem to be related at all. You would be tempted to say that. So here, the phrase is to be tempted to do something means that you really want to do that thing. Maybe you're on a diet and you're trying to lose weight. But then you're tempted to eat a bowl of ice cream. Oh, one bowl wouldn't hurt. It's okay. I can compensate by skipping dinner tomorrow or something like that. Probably not a good idea. But here, you might feel like saying nothing. They don't have anything in common. I don't see any relationship between clay, coloring books, pencils, and colored paper. Well, our author here actually gives us the answer to the riddle. It says here, but in fact, each is a tool. A tool to express your feelings and thoughts in a way that can help you relieve stress and promote mental health. If you promote something, you encourage it. So, these are ways that you can actually get rid of some stress and feel better mentally. Moving on to the next paragraph, it says any kind of artistic activity can help people relax, but. Art therapy is a specific therapeutic practice that uses visual art to help you improve your mental well-being. Yeah, this is the particular area of art that I really suck at, and that's visual art, drawing, painting. I like performing arts, dance, singing, things like that, or maybe sewing. Sewing's fun too, but、uh, yeah. We're going to be focusing, though, today on visual art. So there are lots of different artistic activities that people engage in to relax. But today, our focus is art therapy. How does it help? Yeah, so、uh, you might want to know more about yourself, and you seek out the help of an art therapist, and then they get you involved with a lump of clay, coloring books and pencils, scraps of colored paper, or whatever. So here, an art therapist directs you through the process of creating art and analyzes the resulting work. So here we've got a therapist. More specifically, an art therapist. A therapist can be a physical therapist. For example, if you've broken your leg or something and you need to recover, you might seek the help of a physical therapist,、mm-hmm. which means somebody who specializes in helping people recover from a certain problem. Like my sister was a respiratory therapist. She helped people with their breathing problems. She did quit that job because she said too many of her patients were passing away. It was. Too depressing for her, but yeah, respiratory therapist, physical therapist, and now we have an art therapist. Yeah, that physical therapist. I often hear people refer to that sort of therapy as rehab or rehabilitation. Maybe you've. Broken a leg and it's taking you a while to get your movement back. You'd go to rehab and work on that. Rehab isn't just for drug addicts to kick their addiction to drugs. It can actually help your body regain its 
mobility, its ability to move. So, an art therapist does direct you through the process of creating art. Oh, and then that therapist will analyze the resulting work. Well, I think you made this or have this shape because of this feeling that you might be having. So, in this way, you are deeply involved in the act of learning about yourself. This is really interesting. They do this with young kids, you know. Sometimes there are problems in their home. Maybe there's some things that are happening in that home that are not good for children, and they'll often ask the child to draw me a picture of how you feel. And they learn what's going on in the little child's mind by looking at the artwork. It sounds very similar. Now, don't worry. It says if you think you're not artistic. That's me. An art therapist is not there to instruct you in advanced pottery techniques or criticize your painting style. Now, if you're using clay, guys, you're probably producing pottery. Maybe a vase, maybe a bowl. There's some really great pottery here in Taiwan. Sure. An art instructor or therapist would also not be there to criticize your painting style.、Uh, instead, they're there to instruct you on different things. Now, instruct just means to teach. We often use this verb, though, if we're talking about someone who is teaching in some sort of organization. It could be a school. Or a specific trainer. Here, this is a therapist that you go see. It probably a clinic somewhere. I'm assuming, and so they're going to instruct you. They could also use the verb teach here as well. They could indeed. And remember, it's not about the result. Too many people practice art, and they're worried about whether or not their drawing looks like what they're drawing. Is、I'm, it good or not?、We、yeah, I'm drawing、them. a picture of Joe Jelun, and、uh, somebody said, "Oh, it doesn't look like him at all. You're a terrible artist." <laughs> But here, no, the idea is about the process.、Mm-hmm. This art therapist is not interested in the result of your drawing or of your sculpture. It's all about helping you. See yourself through these techniques, okay? So again, the therapist is not there to instruct you in art techniques or to criticize your painting or drawing style. Their intention is to facilitate your understanding of your own feelings and your own actions via the art you make. So they'll look at your art not in terms of whether you're good at it, but、uh, what it means to your understanding of yourself. It will facilitate your understanding of yourself to facilitate. Means to make something easier, to facilitate. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson for today. Let's、uh, take a break now and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, my name is Shelby. 今天的文章认为，经由艺术，人们可以更加了解自己。一开始，先问问题：一团陶土，几本画布，几个色纸，这些有什么共同处呢？乍看之下，你可能会想说，没有。Tempt 是动词，当主动的时候，诱惑。如果写成被动形态 ，be tempted， 表达想要的意思。但是事实上，每一个都是一个工具来表达你的想法。以这种方式 ，that 形容词子句形容前面的 way， 可以怎么样子压力，喊提升你精神的健康。And 是对等连接词，前后的内容要类似。我们看选项 A。Broaden, 扩展，扩大。B. Relief, 减轻，缓和。C. Violent, 违背，侵犯。D. Compel, 强迫。Relief stress, 减轻压力。所以答案选 B。第二段是谈到艺术治疗师的立场。第二段第一句，艺术治疗是利用视觉艺术来改善你的精神状态。我们看到一个 therapeutic practice。Therapeutic 是治疗的，有疗效的。A practice 这里不要当练习喽，它是方法或实施的意思。后面接着一个 that 形容词子句来形容前面的 practice。Help 后面的 to v to 经常被省略掉，所以你也可以改写成 help you to improve。而最后一个 well being 相当于 conditions 或者 status。第五句的地方。艺术治疗师不是要 instruct， 是训练、指导的意思。用法后面加人，再加 in 领域。这里的领域是进阶的淘气技巧，或者来批评你的画风。他们的空格是要 facilitate 帮助。
促进，后面直接加受词。你对于你自己行为感受的了解，借由透过你所画的艺术。我们先看选项 A. Adolescence 青春期 B. Intention 目的意图 C. Residence 住宅住所 D. Destruction 破坏。毁灭这些治疗师的目的，应该是要让你自我了解，所以答案选 B。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about your health. In particular, we're talking about your mental health and how using art as a type of therapy can actually help you understand yourself better as you produce artistic things. You know, as you work with a therapist, the point isn't to produce the next Mona Lisa. No. In fact, you don't even have to be very good. You're still able to learn quite a bit about yourself if you are working alongside an art therapist who can actually look at what you've created, analyze it, and then talk to you about why he or she believes you're producing this type of art and what might be going on inside your head. Yeah, it can be quite therapeutic to do these things. That's why adult coloring books are so popular. Yeah, they take their colored pencils and they color these things in, and it helps them feel better about their lives. It relieves stress and stuff like that. So here, let's again talk about art therapy. It taps into the human drive to create and communicate. So here, to tap into something means to get at the energy of something, to find that energy, to Connect with that thing, so yeah, it connects with our human drive to create and communicate. In other words, it finds out where that drive is, where that desire is, and then it helps us with your artistic creativity. In this particular case, so yeah, it taps into those things, and then we can use our energy to create and communicate to benefit ourselves. I totally agree with this idea that.、Uh, Human beings are here to create, not to destroy, but to actually produce things and to learn things. So, art therapy really is a good conduit, which just means a way into something to get at why we do what we do. So, because art doesn't require language. No, it does not. It's also accessible to people with physical or cognitive limitations. Physical limitations might be maybe someone is missing an arm, or maybe they have cerebral palsy, or if they have cognitive limitations, maybe they are a Down syndrome person. We don't know what those. Cognitive limitations are cognitive just means related to your mind. So through art therapy, anyone can improve their capacity or their ability for self-expression. We use this word capacity when we're talking about how big something is, the maximum amount that something can hold or contain. Capacity. Oh. I was just thinking. Sometimes these big pop singers come into town, and we'll talk about. Wow, this stadium is at its capacity. It's totally sold out. There's no more room for anybody else. What's your capacity for pain? I have a sister whose pain threshold is so high; she can experience great pain, and it doesn't bother her. My capacity is quite low, quite small. But anyway, your capacity. How much? You have what's the maximum amount that you have for self-expression, whatever their scope of ability. Here's scope. We actually talked about this word in a another unit. Scope here just means the extent of something, what the range is like, something that、uh, can be changed. The scope of a project, the scope of the research. They'll often talk about that. Sometimes it can be quite narrow. Sometimes it can be quite broad or wide. So scope of ability. For example, my scope of ability, as far as visual arts goes, <laughs> is quite small. I'm terrible, but that doesn't matter because it tells us here that this is about 
learning about yourself, self-expression, and it doesn't matter about the quality. Well, if you are terrible as you think you are, I am. Then you can only improve. You、mm. cannot、uh, get worse. So、oh, that's、uh, something to think about. <laughs> but again,、uh, this is not so much about being good at it, but still, it does improve your capacity for self-expression. It makes you be able to express yourself better, and、uh, it doesn't really matter about the range or scope of your ability. If you're really good, if you're really bad, it doesn't matter. You can learn to express yourself. A good Art therapist will help with your self-discovery too, and that is a path to understanding and navigating future obstacles on your own. So, yeah, I've heard of life coaches out there. You know, people help you with your lives and stuff like that. So, it sounds like an art therapist is similar. They're just、uh, helping you improve your life, make you more creative, more expressive, and more happy. I think this sounds、uh, like it's more fun than just going to see a psychologist or a therapist who just asks you questions and listens as you respond. Here, you're actually producing something, and like we're told earlier, we all have this drive or this feeling that we want to create something. So, a really interesting idea to navigate. To navigate is to.、Uh, You know, find a route or a path to wherever you're going. It can be literal. You know, sometimes it's hard to navigate the roads during rush hour. <laughs> There's just too many cars. So to navigate means to plan and then、uh, direct some sort of、uh, route that you're going to take. But it also can be more figurative. Navigate. How are you going to get around those obstacles in the future? We all will have them. That's part of life. We all have challenges. How are you going to confront them and overcome some of those challenges? Yep. How. Are you going to navigate your way through life? What's your plan? Where are you going to school? What jobs are you going to have? Where are you going to live, etc.? This is all about plotting your course through、mm-hmm. life, navigating your future, etc., etc. And an art therapist can help you with that. Now, all art is beneficial if it makes you think, feel, wonder, or otherwise react strongly. So, yeah, you don't need to worry about whether you're producing good. Good art. It's beneficial if it makes you think about things. If you have feelings, sadness or happiness or whatever, and if you wonder about things, if you're curious about things, or if you react strongly to things. You know, if you start crying when you see a movie or something, or maybe someone in your therapy class has、uh, drawn something that really affects you, and you start crying for no reason. That means the art is beneficial, and if something's beneficial, it helps you in some. Way. You'll often hear、uh, benefits when you're talking about a job. If you're offered a job with a company, they'll tell you what your benefits are. Your benefits package would、um, include vacation time, insurance, things like that. So, yeah. Uh, so exploring your thought patterns is helpful, no matter whether you're in good or bad mental health. There are no limitations when it comes to either art or therapy. When it comes to is a phrase we use when we want to tell the reader or a listener or writer. We're going to be talking about a particular subject, so there are no limitations. In either art or therapy, I mean, I can make it as simple as that. When it comes to, just means this is the subject we're going to be looking at in particular. So, do you have limitations in art or therapy? It says here there are no limitations. I feel like I have limitations, but I think but, I would learn、yeah. to be maybe more generous with myself if I went to therapy. I don't know. Yeah, it's not about、uh, becoming a good artist. It's about knowing yourself. And again, when it comes to art therapy, there are no limitations. If we talk about art therapy, then there are no limits. You can go as high as the sky, head into the universe. And、uh, you know who knows?、Uh, get bathed by cosmic rays or something like that. As an example for when it comes to, let me just use Taiwan. When it comes to really tasty snacks or really tasty cuisine, Taiwan is the place to go. Is the place to be. You guys have lovely, lovely food here. Thank you very much. I eat too much of it. Right now, we're going to listen one more time to our Chinese teacher. 第三段关于艺术治疗的目标。第一句的地方，艺术治疗是利用人们想创作的欲望
tap into something， 这是动词，便于使用什么以获得好结果。后面再加名词，而这里的名词是 human drive。drive 当名词表示欲望、决心。再加一个不定词 to create and communicate， 来修饰前面的 drive。选项中 A。Accessible 可得到的 ，B edible 可食用的 ，C superficial 表面的 ，D parallel 平行的。这文章的下一句说啊，无论每个人的艺术能力如何，都能够接受艺术治疗，而不是看他多么会画。所以这题呢，暗示答案要选 A accessible 可得到的。第四题，一个好的艺术师会帮助你自我发现。Help with 动词片语表示帮助美人做什么事情。Self discovery 自我发现。And 空格四是一个 path 途径，通往哪里的道路，我们就可以说 a path to something。来了解和 navigate。这题要考指示代名词的用法。指示代名词包含 this、that。等等等，前半句说治疗师帮助发现自我，后半句指出来要自己了解克服未来的障碍。对等连接词 and 暗示后面是整句是个完整的子句，空格四是主词，代替前面的 self discovery， 所以答案选 D that。第四段结论了，艺术和自我开发可以相辅相成。第一句。所有的艺术都是 beneficial 有益的。如果它让你思考、困惑，或者是强烈的回应，空格五，接着说，探索你的思考模式也是很有帮助的哦。既然艺术是 beneficial 有益的，探索思想模式也是有帮助的。可以推知，这两者同样都有助身心的发展。我们看选项 A instead 作为代替 ，B。Nevertheless, 然而 C likewise 同样的 D accordingly 因此，所以这题答案选 C likewise. 以上是今天的讲解，谢谢收听。That's it for today, everybody. And、uh, yeah, consider having some art therapy sessions, or you know, do art or whatever, and don't have too many high expectations of yourself. Learn to know yourself through art. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.